Station Space to Ground 2 for HTV. We are ready, Frank. We have a great view of uh, all of you there collected in the hatch. I'll copy it. I'll give the uh, mic to Gennady. Okay, Houston, I hope you can copy and watch us. We want to say some words related to yesterday's event. It was an unbelievable day. It's a great contribution of our partners from Japan, United Project. Not only did we get yesterday new vehicle, but we did uh, very beautiful and new docking operation system. It was unbelievable. It was very perfectly precise and seamlessly done by our beautiful teammate. Nicole Stott is a hero. She exceeded all our and ground extraordinary expectations. Thanks to all the engineers who participated in this incredible project. Thanks to our very professional Alexa, NASA, Canada. Congratulations. Thank you, Gennady, and I would like also to echo my thanks, our thanks to all of the teams on the ground who made this possible. Um, I think what stood out to me was that the vehicle is beautiful. It is beautiful not only to look at, but the way it operates and performs as precisely as we possibly could have expected, and we are certainly thankful for that. And um, again, it's just a, a really spectacularly beautiful vehicle to look at, too. And now we're very happy side of it and, and able to take advantage of all the, the surprises and uh, supplies that you've sent to us. So thank you again. Yes, I just want to uh, reiterate what I said yesterday. Uh, this can be a really true example for international cooperation. Uh, we had a Japanese vehicle with uh, traveled by a Canadian-built uh, robot arm. It's docked to a European-built uh, module. Uh, it's part of the uh, U.S. segment. Uh, all that uh, under control of a Russian commander and with an international crew. Uh, we can really be a true example for international cooperation. HTV uh, rendezvous uh, docking and now the, the hatch opening to me represents uh, quintessential uh, Japanese uh, craftsmanship and, and operations. Uh, as Nicole said, the, the vehicle is a very beautiful vehicle. It's got this cobalt blue uh, solar rays on it and uh, shimmering gold uh, metal foil as part of the uh, MLI insulation. It just looked beautiful arriving. It's huge and the craftsmanship and the operations yesterday were, were flawless. Uh, thanks to all the Japanese designer, mission designers and more, most importantly, the, the dreamers from uh, 15, 20 years ago who conceived the H HTV and they are to be congratulated. Well, we know that this is a brand new booster that uh, lofted this beautiful spaceship to us and of course the HTV is new. And as we mentioned earlier this morning, when something this complicated and, and this big in operations works so flawlessly the first time, it's just a major testament to the care, the expertise, the workmanship, and uh, everything that was put into it by the, the uh, JAXA team and everybody on the ground. I think it's a major point of pride, and it's a major point of confidence for us. It's the first time we've uh, grappled a uh, cargo vehicle, and uh, this is the way of the future for ISS. And uh, I think that has been well proven right now, and I think we can go forward with a lot more confidence from now. So congratulations to uh, all of the JAXA team, uh, the nation of Japan, of course, and uh, to all those who have made this operation successful. It was just a beautiful thing to watch. Hey, guys, you did a very good job uh, with our crew members. And uh, more space, more job for us. Thank you very much. Congratulations. This is uh, HTV Flight. Uh, welcome aboard our spaceship. Nicole, Frank, Bob, and uh, all crew members on board. Thank you so much for your great, great job yesterday's capture and today's uh, ingress. And also, also, we thank you, Nicole, for very delicious sushi delivery from you. I've heard many thanks from all of HTV teams here. I'm very glad to see our vehicle becomes a part of the international station and to open a new page of the ISS and the Japanese human space exploration history. Thank you very much. You're very welcome and we're very thankful that we could be a part of it.
and we as a crew hope you enjoy the sushi. It was just a small thing for us to do uh, in hopes that you could take part in the celebration as we are up there um, thanks to this wonderful vehicle. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And we in Houston and the MCC and the train team appreciate the sushi as well. We've been enjoying it all day. Thank you very much for your kindness. And the uh, Japanese flag mounted inside the HTV vehicle uh, following that uh, commemorative uh, call down from the crew on board the International Space Station to the folks uh, at the uh, control center in Scuba Japan where they talked with the HTV uh, flight director and uh, congratulated them on the success of uh, their launch and the uh, successful operation of all the systems on the HTV vehicle as it uh, came in for a grapple and berthing aboard the International Space Station. Again, three and a half tons worth of supplies and equipment inside the uh, outpost, and another uh, ton worth of supplies uh, on the external pallet that will be moved over on Wednesday. <laughs> 